we as black people have the power and let us all support black business. everybody welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here then my name is Tandy Gama welcome to my channel <laughs> okay I haven't done one of these in a very long time oh and a, a big shout out to TG gang a welcome back let's start since this is a chit chat one of the first questions that I got says progress on your skincare so this is how my skin is right now um so during lockdown uh unfortunately this side of my face broke out quite a lot so like yeah the acne was back as you can see i had like these huge cystic pimples all over here but now they seem to be going away i went to the dermatologist and they put me on antibiotics and so it's antibiotics and I'm on Retin A and I'm on Hydroquinone. So those are all things that I will discuss in like a video because I'm planning to actually do a one a month update so you guys can actually see what my skin looked like before this. I didn't share that with anyone. That was just a personal choice, but I have the pictures. It was bad. It was so, so bad. If you can see, I still have quite a bit of like pimples coming out. Um, it's going to take a while for the retin A to start working, but I'll share that in the video so you guys know how long all of that takes. But yeah, guys, um, another important one that I feel like we should simply address now and get out of the way. Um, guys, I won't be mentioning the products that I'm using, but I will link everything down below because I feel like it will distract me from participating in this video. I put my monitor on this side because I couldn't see with the ring light, so please, if I look distracted, it's okay. Another question someone asked, uh, why haven't I been vlogging? Whew, okay, I hadn't been vlogging. At the beginning of um, the quarantine, basically, at first, I was just like, I needed just to take it all in. I think we were all trying to process that we're locked up. We were all basically locked up. Everyone's been locked up. And I think then that phase passed. And then came a phase where my skin broke out. Then it was just like, you know, you want to be comfortable when you're on camera. Because we're all locked up, I didn't want to have to now be vlogging only when I had makeup because I was trying to give my skin a break and that meant that I wouldn't be applying makeup every single day. So I took quite some time and then it got to a point where my skin was just so horrible that I really wasn't comfortable picking up the camera and showing my face. I mean, I did try, but it felt, it looked, to me, it looked so bad that I just didn't want to be on camera because sometimes it's not like you guys don't know what my skin already looks like, but the annoying thing is that sometimes you get these people that are new to your channel and you know, not that I have anything against them. They're new to your channel, they don't know who you are, they don't know what you, how long you've been struggling with your skin and they have all this solid like advice for you, like people will come in my DMs, like they'll find me on Instagram, come in my DMs and tell me what to do and sometimes people will comment on the video so like it just makes you uncomfortable and just makes you think like do i really want to share another video if i'm just gonna get like everyone telling me what to do people asking me you drink and not drinking enough water people telling me clean your brushes i clean my brushes guys i use alcohol on them everything it's not like people that have acne it's not that they're, they're not hygienic we can be as hygienic as we want but acne is just one of those things. And acne is not curable, okay? You can do things and it works and it goes away. And then sometimes it comes back. Mine went away and now it's back. So we're dealing with it again. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm on meds. 
for the next three months and obviously depending on what my skin looks like in three months the dermatologist might extend that or not so yeah that's that okay so how to work with brands i guess this is someone interested in being an influencer so i guess when the best advice for that is when you're trying to be recognized by brands right look at people i always say create a case study of people that are working with brands but not just anybody like create a case study of people you like okay and then um try and analyze so it's like you're doing research analyze what exactly that they're doing that you think brands are attracted to and then from there on try and see if your content is sort of like in line with that not exactly like don't try and recreate people's content but i just mean if like their content is like top-notch quality are you trying to produce like quality content if their content um if they're creating content that speaks to a specific niche are you creating content that speaks to a particular niche that you are trying to target okay because obviously we all don't want to do the same thing when it comes to being an influencer not everybody wants to do beauty not everybody wants to do this but based on whatever you want to do are you creating um content that like speaks to brands um that are there so for example if you wanted to be a travel content creator you can't just expect brands to work with you when you've never even shared anything about traveling saying so you can't go to someone and say i know i can create good travel vlogs we all want to see work that you've done because trust me there's already people doing what you want to do and they have a case okay so what's stopping that brand from approaching someone that's already doing it if you're expecting them to work with you when you've actually never created any content around that and also another thing is sometimes some people have come into my dms and said uh i want to be a beauty content creator and i'll look at the page and not a lot of it says beauty or you've probably paid posted two three posts where you've tagged it doesn't mean if you've tagged three posts like the brands will immediately um send you an email and add you on their PR list sometimes it takes work okay like if i think about how long it took me i was creating content for over a year guys before the first brand ever ever recognized me or approached me and within that year i had created tons and tons of video I'd, I'd shot tons and tons of beauty photos tagging all these brands and within that one year something months only one brand approached me not all of them that i tagged approached me but i was grateful for that because that was the first door but whenever we want anything in life you actually have to work for it it doesn't really, it never comes easy nothing worth having in life comes easy okay tandy the reality of being an entrepreneur yo the reality is that a lot of work goes into it you know you can't i can't um like sometimes i've struggled to create content because i have to put the business first and put my clients first i can't just be like hey <laughs> i'm an influencer before i own lash me baby no the day i chose to launch that business is a day that i took on the the big responsibility to say that if yet tomorrow i planned to film a video but one of my clients has an issue with their package i cannot film that video unless i've sorted out their package i've chased down and i made sure that i know um when they will be receiving it or whatever the case so entrepreneurship is not easy it will test you you need to have patience you need to be someone that looks at the customer and understand that the customer is always right the one thing that i'm grateful for is that growing up i've had different jobs in so many different fields and it's always been where i'm in a position where the client is right and I, and like literally the way i've dealt with clients in the past i have learned to have patience i have learned to um see someone scream and just keep quiet and give them the opportunity to vent out because 
you know people have had bad experiences before from other people and sometimes when they support something that's new it's not easy just putting their guard down so that's one of the things that i've had to to deal with the reality is that like it's not easy it's it's not as pretty as people think it looks it takes time to to see a return on your investment because what usually happens is that when you start making money all of that money keeps you need to keep reinvesting 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 if you actually want your business to grow further than where it is yeah it's 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 tough it's tough but it's doable if like you literally tell yourself that you know what i'm gonna do this if you wake up every day with the passion and with the drive you will get where you want to go you will it's it's doable that is the reality it's doable it is not that hard you just need to have patience people skills and you know certain things and some things you learn on the way okay like that's why i always say find people that can guide you have someone it's always good sometimes to also have a mentor um i want to have a mentor but I'm just still trying to figure out who the right person is to approach. But the thing is, the reason why I really didn't have to rush is because I've worked for close to, I can't believe this, I'm sure it's like close to 10 years of me working now. So just my experience with, with clients is there. What keeps you going in this uncertain time uh, business-wise? In the beginning, when we were all locked up and I couldn't ship anything, I was kind of stressed. I really was kind of stressed. But then, what keeps me going is people supporting each other. Like, us supporting each other. Like, I think it's so beautiful that with how we've had the whole Black Lives Matter situation and everything that's been going on, a lot of people have turned to say, we as Black people have the power and let us all support black business and a lot of the girls in the beauty community um had been tagging my page and that really helped a lot because my page has grown you know in a in a time where you think you're supposed to be um losing out on sales in the beginning that's how it was but towards the end it's just been a beautiful thing seeing so many people support me and i'm like truly 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 so grateful and what i realized is that as black people we really do have the power to ensure that the next generation has everything that we never had i mean if we continue to support each other the way we're doing now imagine what all of us could achieve in two years from now if everyone comes out with a business and we are all there to support and circulate the wealth i mean we will become unstoppable unstoppable so i think it really hasn't been that bad what's kept me going is people in my community my followers everyone that's been supporting me really has kept me going oh oh my gosh this topic always comes up um so it's the topic of dating and yeah i'm not dating at the moment okay wait there's relationship and there's dating dating is like seeing people i'm not i can't date right now because we're all locked up so even if i do come across someone it's not like we can go anywhere and like get to know each other it's gonna be a long time before that happens but there is a bit of pressure you know from people who expect you to actually be in a relationship when you're at a certain age or have certain things when you're at a certain age i understand like i'm 28 i think out of all my friends like when i look at my group of friends from high school like my very very, very the one group that i literally grew up with from like grade seven all the way till matric i think almost everyone has a kid now and i'm the only one <laughs> and the funny thing is that we used to joke about it and everyone used to be like tandy is going to be the first person to have a kid and i didn't even realize why i don't know why they said that but that was the joke and guess what i'm the last person and i don't have a baby yet so um dating currently not dating i think you should date when you're ready let's talk about being body shamed a lot of us have experienced this i personally i don't think i've experienced it that bad but i've also you know that whole thing the one thing that i don't like is you know when you go places and people are like 
oh my gosh you put on so much weight i feel like when a bad happens in someone's life they know and we all don't need to emphasize that i'm gonna tell you guys something i have put on five kilos in quarantine it's not even crazy five kilos it's scary okay and, and another reason why i'm putting on so much weight and it like it bothers me but right now i need to focus on one thing one thing that i can handle at a time i've put on so much weight because uh i'm on antibiotics i don't know if you guys ever go through this antibiotics make you eat yo like literally you want everything so the antibiotics that i'm on have been making me super 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 hungry so i've been eating everything but now i think i've calmed down a bit that's after i, I, I looked at my weight on the scale and i was like girl you need to control these cravings so um i know when i come out of this a lot of people are gonna be like oh my gosh you've gained so much weight I, I so wish we could all respect one another like you really don't know what's going on in someone's life for them to put on weight and it's not like they don't see it and i think when they're ready to to deal with it they will because you saying you've put on so much weight does not change anything in most situations i feel like you are pressurizing this person to now stress eat that happens to me if like people put pressure on me i stress eat so i don't like pressure i like doing things at my own time so like you guys probably know this i'm i'm the queen of doing things at my own time when i feel like the time is right i don't like rushing anything so yeah but i've been walking uh i've been doing 10 i've been trying to do 10ks a day and then what happened something stopped me it's it was my period came i had i always have like a terrible terrible period like period pains it's it's a struggle so that happened and then just as i was getting better and i was like okay i can get back into it oh we were hit with a cold front cold front came through and i just didn't know what to do yesterday i had another one of those wake up calls i literally started walking in the house guys i walked 10,000 uh, steps in the house while watching youtube on my phone and it felt so good but my back hurt so much because i feel like i have gained some weight in my boobies so they're quite heavy to carry around right now it is so bad okay someone's asking how can one start their beauty influencing career okay um basically it's pretty much creating content around beauty okay and because i'll be very honest because the beauty industry there's a lot of people already in it right now when you get into it it's not like how when we started when i started guys i don't even think like quality on my end was a thing okay because i was using a phone to record my videos so quality wasn't a thing it was only after a while like a couple of months of be being on youtube that i got um, my first camera which was a g7x which is basically more for vlogging than it is for creating beauty content to be quite honest so what i still tell people now is that because if you really really want to get noticed an important thing right now in the beauty industry is to have quality content so you stand out from the people who are already creating great content there is so many people so if you can save up for either a good camera or a good um iphone iphone creates such amazing quality content i'm not even being biased because i am an iphone user but like you won't go wrong and because iphone actually also like the apps that are there that are created specifically for iphone are amazing for people that create beauty content like the editing software everything so i will say create um quality content you need to be ready to understand that it's going to take time it's not going to take you like two two three months and then like you're already getting paid work maybe in 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 a, in a year you could start getting like um press drops but that does not mean you will get paid immediately so you have to put in the work beauty industry you got to put in the work it's it's simply not that easy you don't just wake up and for some it is but um really i would say invest in um good equipment it doesn't have to be expensive equipment it could literally be um affordable stuff someone's asked why is it necessary investing so much money for good youtube equipment 
Okay, um, you know what? I always say it's not necessary in the beginning when you start art because I'll tell you this, sometimes you'll start YouTube and then somewhere down the line you realize this thing is not for you. So you don't want to have wasted so much money on something that is not for you, okay? Now, when you invest in quality equipment, the thing is you probably will get noticed a lot quicker because your content is quality, especially if you are going into a niche that is highly saturated by other content creators right now if you're going into an industry that is not highly highly saturated you can always start off with whatever you're comfortable with and then invest in quality content as soon as the money starts coming in the thing is people think that a lot of quality stuff are very expensive no you just have to learn how to make how to make what you have work for you. I always tell people, like, you don't need to start off with like a huge ass DSLR. You can start off with like even a Canon M50. A Canon M50 is so good, guys. You can usually after that you can invest in a good lens. So it's not really like, okay, you have to go buy this expensive, expensive DSLR when you haven't even gotten your first gig yet. No, I would rather say invest as you're growing. You don't want to invest in something and you don't get there. And then eventually you decide that you're going into corporate and you have all these things that you don't know what to do with it. The basic reasoning for investing in quality content is to show that you're growing. So I always say invest in equipment when you're now growing. You've been doing this for a while. You're getting gigs, you know, you're getting noticed you are becoming a big shot in your niche. Then that is the right time to now say, okay, I'm gonna buy this and this and this and that. But before that, not necessary. Start small because when you start small, don't forget you can always sell that stuff when you're now ready to move on to um, your good equipment think about it like this way when you're driving guys we all don't start off with a maserati right we buy ourselves like a toyota or or something you know just till we know how to drive or a perfect driver or till we've moved on to a rank where we can afford the maserati don't feel pressured to go buy expensive stuff like what was the first big brand you worked with and that actually opened doors for you i think the first big brand i remember quite well it was um estee lauder was the first big brand i worked with and i remember at that time i was like oh my gosh why are they working with me because i think i only had 2000 followers if i'm not mistaken so in my head i was like i'm not big enough for them to want to work with me because when you think about it estee lauder is such a big company and i think after working with them a lot of other brands realized that okay she's probably someone we can work with i remember after them a lot of brands started approaching me and yeah it was just such a beautiful experience to work with them i loved working with them oh my gosh are you happy single or are you miserable i am happy because you know what what right now having a business is keeping me busy having a business trying to be a content creator, trying to, you know, do so many things at once, having so much responsibility. I forget that I don't have that. Obviously, it's it's normal. Like, sometimes you think, oh, I wish there was someone that could do this for me right now. Or I wish I had someone besides <laughs> my sister <laughs> to do things. That, or my friends, like, you know, like, you just, yeah. It's not like I don't think about it sometimes. I do um but i genuinely still believe that it will happen at the right time someone wants to know about healing from past relationships okay when it comes to relationships and healing i think that a good thing is before moving on give yourself time like you know think about it cry if you need to um you know reminisce on the memories let that stuff go i mean being with someone for that long is not something you can easily get over like and be like tomorrow morning be like oh i'm done i'm good i can move on to the next guy this guy was waiting so i'm ready to to start talking to him i don't know for some people it's easy 
but yeah i just feel like give yourself time and even if like certain people take two days to get over a relationship give yourself as much time as you need if you need a year then do you um i've just always been someone that's comfortable taking my time with things like that someone says what made you choose youtube over corporate i think it was the fact that i could be in a place where i was comfortable and i had full control of my finances in a way and i wouldn't have that scary thought of someone letting me go or like worrying about someone else having the power over my life in their hands you know what i mean and I've, I've always known that i wanted to work for myself eventually and that just felt like the perfect time to go ahead and do it and leave corporate so i just went ahead and i did it Ooh, okay this is the last one the importance of self-love self-love is important because nobody is gonna appreciate you if you don't learn to appreciate yourself no one will love you the way you want to be loved if you don't know how to love yourself because i feel like we can only express how we want to be loved once we fully understand ourselves you know so learning yourself learning your love language learning what you want basically and learning to find peace in yourself before you expect it from someone else is so 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 important and someone says doing you for you okay that was an interesting one doing you for you um it's almost feels like it's like one of those statements where it's almost like own pace own race okay we all have different lives we all have different callings we all have different purposes and it's important to do you and not trying to be anyone else so that is like a very important thing because the only way you'll succeed is when you are yourself independence independence is important one thing that i appreciate about being independent is that it makes you work harder also um but the other thing that people get wrong is that you take wanting to be independent as a way of not asking for your for help when you get stuck in a rut you know when you get stuck i think it's important to ask people that know what's going on or are far learner than you you know it's okay to to be honest and say listen i'm stuck i don't know what to do here so independence is important but also learn that sometimes in some situations you just gotta throw independence out the door and say i need help y'all um this is a nice warm winter color i'm gonna ombre it and then i'm gonna set my face and then almost done i feel like i need a little bit more bronzer Okay, so let me look for one more while this dries up. Mental health and social pressure and beauty. So I think it's important to take care of your mental health. When you're not feeling okay, don't, don't look at what everyone else is doing and feel like you need to be in the same position as them. This is why I haven't been vlogging. Even, if, even though my sister lives in the same house as me and she's able to vlog, if I feel like mentally, and emotionally i'm not in the right space to do it i'm not pressured by her walking around with the camera and releasing content and i feel like oh my gosh i'm not doing anything or when people are creating content and i can't because my skin is not in a good space i don't i don't feel like i need to be pressured because everyone else is doing it that's because i'm taking care of myself um i'm not trying to put too much pressure on on me it's very important to do things for you and not because everyone else is doing it or because people want you to do something or everyone is telling you this is where you're supposed to be right now focus on yourself um you should know when you're ready to do something you should know when you're ready to be um 
in a certain space or be around people so i don't think that you should allow other people to decide what's good for you um when you know yourself you know yourself when you know your body when you're going through things you know that it's time to take a break it's time to just move away from the space even if people are constantly asking you like where are you i remember i was getting messages why are you not vlogging why are you not doing this just focus on yourself learn to love yourself learn to love your body learn to listen to your body um when your body is telling you now's not the right time or this is not it listen to your body this is the finished look guys i feel like i look cute um i sort of look cute i don't know you guys will let me know what do you think i haven't done my makeup in front of the camera in such a long time and because we were talking i really do hope like this topic was interesting for you guys if you guys enjoyed this video please do give it a huge 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 thumbs up um if it's your first time here don't forget to hit that subscribe button i will see you guys in the next video and before you ask about this hair this hair is um i will link it down below and don't just go and get the hair details please watch the video <laughs> much love till the next one Thank <laughs> you.